Are you putting it on there? Yeah. Good job. You making it tighter? Yeah. <laughs> you doing good? Yeah. Thank you. What's up, y'all? It's CJ Moto just hanging out here with the trusty old ET410 electric truggy. If you don't know what that means, electric truggy 410. It's a one tenth scale electric truggy, which is a cross between a buggy and a, I guess, a monster truck or something. But yeah, it's pretty sick. But today we're going to focus on how to paint a body for one of these things, make them look cool. So let's check it out, see what we got to do. All right, after you cut that body out real carefully, and then you want to wet sand all the edges with some sandpaper, and then, uh, or dry sand them, but I like to wet sand them, and then wipe it, clean it all out real good with some dish soap, and then dry that real good, and then you're, you want to do your body holes. Um, you definitely want to do your body holes before you paint it. It makes it way easier to line it up. So I, I like to have it all cut out and do my body holes before I paint it. All right, so now you can see we, uh, we got her all cleaned off the soap off. Still a little bit of water, but that ain't no big deal because we're going to clean it again after we drill these body holes up to get any extra uh, material off of there. So you want to go ahead and make sure that your factory post mounts line right up. And in this case, they look perfect. So I'm just going to shoot for the center of those. All right, so we're going for the center of these holes. So you want to take your body reamer and go very, very slowly. Don't be drinking beer when you're working on these bodies. Drink some iced coffee or something. There's some things you could drink some beer when you are sea wrenching, but this ain't one of them. This, this is probably the most important step. If you make these holes too big, you're gonna have issues. The body's not gonna fit tight. So you just wanna ream it out a little bit. Make sure you're completely centered. Ream it out a little bit and just keep stepping it up, stepping it up until it gets to the right dimensions to fit onto your body, okay? Just push very lightly. And just spin it. And if you're not completely centered, you could just kind of put some pressure in that other direction. So you can see I'm just a little bit off right there. So I'm going to pull it back towards me. And these things bite. They try to grab and suck themselves in. So you want to be pulling backwards a little bit. Don't let them bite and pull themselves in prematurely. Just push very lightly. You can see right there, I'm almost dead center on that hole. It's that outline of that hole that they give you from the factory. Okay, we'll be back when we get those all knocked out. So there, are those front two are perfect. Look at that. I mean, they are tight on there. Look. You could lift the whole buggy up by those without them popping off and they'd pop on real snug. Watch. You gotta like push them to get them to get on there. That's perfect. The less movement in there, the better. The less likely they are to crack and you can even put like a little circle dome underneath them uh, to give them more support on the bottom. And look how perfectly these back ones are lining up. So you just gotta pick your spot on there. So let's do that. Another quick tip with these body holes. Okay, I started these second two. You can see they're small, front two are done. Alternate, do a few little passes, a few, just very lightly. Do a few light passes from that side and then flip it and go from the opposite side, a few light passes, okay? The reason for that is this thing's tapered. So as you're going into it, you're getting, you're taking more material away from one side than the other. So when you flip it, you're evening it out. So you're making the material around it stronger. There's no taper, it's just a flat edge then. All right, look at this. So when you set it on there, none of them go down. Put a little bit of pressure. Boom, back, down. Look at how perfect that is. That is the most important step right there of mounting an RC car body, is those body holes as well as cutting your body out. I would say the three most important steps are those body holes, cutting your body out, and thoroughly washing the inside of the body. So if anyone doesn't understand, you're painting the inside of the body, and you'll see that in this video. Um, so there's a clear film on top of here, okay? On the outside, you peel that off after you're all done. On the inside is where you're painting. This has to be clean, 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 okay? So next we're gonna apply our window masks. 
We're going to go over it one more time with some rolled up sandpaper and all the edges. On all these bends, that's where your body's going to crack. It's going to crack in these bends. It's going to crack in the corners, okay? These bends. So you want to take your perfectly rolled up paper and take your finger and put it close so it doesn't flex a lot. And don't press hard. Just go up and down and get perfect. You want to have perfect curvatures to all your edges, okay? Take care of that, wash the body off, then we'll do the window mask. Run your eyes along all these edges and make sure they look perfect. Look at that. Nice, perfect tapers. Take your time on this. Attention to detail is important with painting and with preparation. Okay, everything's got to look nice at this point. Look at those match up real nice. Okay, after you're at that point, wash it for a second time. All right, we got the window masks installed. Make sure you really take your time. I lay them down down here. Start them down here on the big areas. Line all that up and everything else will follow nicely. The front is definitely tricky on this, but it looks good. Make sure you got all the bubbles out behind it. If you have a bubble near the edge, your paint will run into your window when you peel it off. Just really look it over, make sure there's no bubbles. Push it down really good. You already washed the inside, so just blow it out. Make sure there's nothing in there, and then we'll go ahead and get started painting. Now I got some different types of paint here, so I wanted to cover a few different things um, to consider before we move on. So first of all, you want to make sure you have an actual RC car paint. Duratrax, it's going to say RC car paint. That's how you know it's RC car paint. Let's see if this one even says it. Spat Sticks doesn't actually say it, but Spat Sticks is a good one. Pactra is a good one. Um, you might want to try to stay with the same company if you're layering them. I don't really care, but anyhow, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. So here's another theory behind. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention: do not ever put isopropyl alcohol when you're cleaning your your plastics. It'll harden them up and it'll make them have like a white film. Just use soap and water. Don't touch these with isopropyl. Okay. Um, so you can try to do some fancy paint jobs. You can do whatever you want to try to do. Do your research. I'm going to do something today where it's like a splatter effect. I'm going to sit the body like that. Then I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to basically empty one of these cans into a little cup. Have a pool of the paint. Take the paintbrush and just splatter it. And I want to have like a, oh I'm sorry, I'm going to have it facing like this. So it's going to, it's going to run down. The splatters are going to run down towards the tail to make it look like it's wet and it's just hauling ass or make it look like blood splatter, whatever you want to say. But I'm just going to splatter it on there and then I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to back coat, back coat it and that's basically it. Let's see how it turns out. All right, well I already got this thing started. I put the blue and some pearl in there, some pearl white and I've just been splatting shit. Look at the mess I've made. <laughs> but I think it might turn out pretty damn sick. I've got it propped up, taped up to a tire, and it's just running down naturally. We'll do just a little bit more. Like this. Ready? Let's say that's about enough. So we're just going to let that dry. <laughs> what a mess. Good thing I don't have a wife anymore. There she is so far. Look at that. That's sick. I love it. So what we're going to do is uh, take some pearl white, which is like transparent. We're going to give it a nice coat of pearl white. And then we're going to go ahead and back that with rally green. There it is with the coat of pearl white. Look at that. Just one light coat of pearl white because I want that green to pop. I want it to show through real nice. Looks like we might be a little light right in there. I might hit it one more time down on that bottom edge of there. Now while we wait for that paint to dry. Mm. There you have it folks. I think she turned out pretty nice. Got that 
pearl in there. You can probably see it a little bit. I don't have it sitting down all the way on the body. It's just barely touching right there because it's still drying. Yeah. There she is. A little mini trub. Fresh paint. Wetter than a lake. I hope you all enjoyed that video and maybe learned something. And I really do appreciate you watching. If you want more content from me, please uh, hit that like and subscribe button. And please stay tuned for future drone, RC car, motorcycle, whatever I decide to get into related content. Thanks for watching. CJ Moto out.